Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video of Acumatica 2022 R2 new features, we're going to talk about a heavily requested feature of change stock status of items. What this new feature allows you to do is it allows you to convert a stock item to a non-stock item and vice versa. So if we go to convert stock to non-stock, there are some caveats. The first is, is you need to make sure that you have zero quantity because how do we handle those quantities? We certainly don't want to eliminate stock in the system. There's costs involved in all of that. So if you have any items that are stock and you want to convert them to non-stock, then you would go through and do an inventory adjustment and zero their on hand stock. So for example, if we take a look at maybe the Acer laptop, you may have seen another video that we've done for 2022 R2, where when you're looking at the item profile, you now have these side panels. So if we take a look at inventory summary, you can see this item has some activity. So we're looking through these rows, retail storage has quantity 60 on hand and wholesale row one shelf one has 198. So we would need to go in and do inventory adjustments and back those out and figure out why we're doing it. So, you know, either it's a mistake or we've sold it. Certainly you don't want to convert something to non-stock that has costs as average cost and FIFO inside the system. Otherwise you're going to throw your costs off. You're going to throw your balance sheet off and all of that. So, but when we look at this, this 60 and 198, we could do inventory adjustments for, but this negative one, that means something's pending. And scrolling over, you can see it's a sales order booked. So if you double click on the sales order, you can see your quantities here. We have a purchase prepared, but that doesn't affect our availability because we're not calculating it that way. But all of these open documents, we need to get this item off those open documents before we can convert. Anything pending, if we ordered it from a vendor and we suddenly decide to convert to non-stock, that's a problem. If we have it available on a sales order to a customer and we convert it to a non-stock, also a big problem. So you'll want to go into either the inventory summary or the inventory allocation details, figure out your quantities and zero them out for these items that you want to convert. But if we go back and we take a look at, for example, this fielder's mitt, we open it up, we click on inventory summary, we can see that there's 600 on hand. And where is that located? It's wholesale row one, shelf one. So if we go back, we'll minimize this for now and we'll do an adjustment. Create a new one. And we'll add our item. And we'll say minus 600. Again, you could see the cost here. There's a, a $40,000 plus dollar implication on our books. So we can't just convert this to non-stock because then we have a big issue. But we'll click remove hole and we'll release. And now if we go back to our profile here and refresh, you see we have nothing in stock anymore. And if we go back to our change stock status of item, Keep in mind, our action here is convert stock to non-stock. And we have the ability to filter by item class or inventory ID. And as we're converting, we could decide what item class and what posting class are we gonna use for this. So if we check this off, of course you could check multiples. Acumatic will go through and it'll check all the things that we talked about. There's a couple other prerequisites, which I'll go through at the end, but um, for this one, we know that we're good to go. We need to pick an item class. So these are all non-stock item classes. And the default posting class automatically gets selected, but you can override if you'd like to. And we'll click process here. And now this item, this MIT, open it up, is now a non-stock item and you could use it accordingly. So now if we go back and we go to 
non-stock to stock, maybe we have an item and here's the item we just converted, but maybe it's this Rosetta Stone and we check it off. And again, you could filter here if you'd like to, but we need to fill in the stock item settings. So we'll pick this as a consumer good. All of the settings that come in from the item class, they're already filled in for us. Our valuation method, we're gonna need that. Are we serializing this? Again, all of this came in. And if we click process, and we go in here and open that inventory ID up, you can now see that the Rosetta Stone Spanish is a, an active stock item with all the settings that we defined in that previous screen, conversion screen. So that is change stock status of item. And to recap the limitations of converting stock to non-stock, we talked about a stock item cannot be converted to a non-stock item. This is coming from the release notes, so you can look this up yourself. Stock item quantity, it can't be anything other than zero. We talked about you can't convert if there's at least one open document. And again, use that inventory allocation detail screen. That'll tell you what pending documents, purchase orders, sales orders. If there's an inventory adjustment or transfer that's out there, hasn't been released, you can do that too. Keep in mind that you can only convert to a non-stock item type. So in Acumatica, the type, it can't be an expense or charge. Keep that in mind. And also keep in mind that the, the checkboxes require shipment and require receipt. They're going to be disabled uh, for that new non-stock item. And then lastly, non-stock item can be converted only if the non-stock item has the non-stock item type. So that non-stock item type, not a charge or expense. You can't convert those, you've got to change those first. And the require receipt, require shipment checkboxes selected on the non-stock form. So they have to be there as well. You can't do anything with matrix items. Um, they cannot be converted, nor can non-stock or stock kits. So that's it. That's changing stock status of items. You can now do it in Acumatica 2022R2. If you like this video, if it helped you, please click the like button. And if you need anything from us, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Have a great day and thanks for watching.